Hey there, Mr. Weaver here. This is eighth grade, module one, lesson one, powers and exponents. After this lesson, you need to be able to use integer exponents to show repeated multiplication of rational numbers. Let's learn. Write products as powers. A product of repeated factors can be expressed as a power, that is, using an exponent and a base. So if we had three times three times three times three, we could write that as a power, and we could do that by expressing the number of times three was used as a factor as the exponent. So we can see three was used four times. There are four factors. So to put that as a power, we would use three as the base, what was being multiplied, and the exponent would be how many times that was being multiplied or used as a factor. So three times three times three times three would be three to the fourth power. Sometimes we'll see expressions where it might have more than one number, but we can still express it using exponents by putting the things that are alike together. So we have two times two times two times two, that was four factors of two, and then we have negative four times negative four times negative four, so three factors of negative four. Simplified, we would have two four times, so two to the fourth power, and negative four multiplied three times, so negative four to the third power. And they were multiplied together here in the middle, so we can still show they're multiplied together in our final simplified expression. Let's label each part of the expression with the correct term. So we just saw that the number that is being multiplied, that is called the base. So here five is being multiplied. The number of times that that base is used as a factor, so how many times was it multiplied together, that is your exponent. And then both of those things together make your power. So five is our base, three is our exponent here, and then five to the exponent of three makes our power. Complete the following statements about how powers are read. So if we have three and a one as an exponent, multiplied out that would be equal to three, we would read this as three to the first power. If we have a two as an exponent, so three times three, we can read it as three to the second power, or more commonly you will hear three squared. If we have three to the third power, we might read it as three cubed, and three to the fourth power, and anything four or larger, we're just gonna say the number, so three to the fourth power, or three to the fourth, where we just drop that word power at the end. So if it was three with an exponent of nine, we would say three to the ninth. Two and three have special words, everything else, just go with the number. Sometimes we're gonna have an unknown number of factors. So here we can see n factors, which means we don't know how many times this was multiplied together. So we would read this as three to the nth power, or just three to the nth. Then we can plug any value we want in for n, and simplify it up. Example one, write numerical products as powers. Write the expression negative two times negative two times negative two times three fourths times three fourths times three fourths times three fourths using exponents. So here's a good example right away where using exponents can save us some time. We can write this with exponents. The base of negative two was used as a factor three times. And the base for three fourths was used as a factor four times. So our exponents in this situation would be three and four. So if we're putting this all together, we would have negative two three times, and three-fourths four times. So negative two to the third power times three-fourths to the fourth power. And that's really just it. Total up how many there are, put it to that power. Check your understanding. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression shown? Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said C, two-thirds to the fourth power and negative five to the fifth power. There's four of the two-thirds. There's five of our negative five. So two-thirds to the fourth and negative five to the fifth. Example two, write algebraic products as powers. Write the expression a times b times b times a times b using exponents. We can do the same thing that we just did with numbers, but with variables instead. And we can rewrite it so we can put the letters next to each other. That's the commutative property where you rearrange multiplication or addition to put numbers that work better or letters that work better next to each other. So now I can see that I have two a's. So I can write that a to the second power. I have three b's, so b to the third power. So my original expression is just a to the second power times b to the third power. Check your understanding. Write the expression given using exponents. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said C. There are five A's and four B's. So A to the fifth, B to the fourth. One, two, three, four, five A's. One, two, three, four B's. A to the fifth, B to the fourth. Let's learn negative bases and parentheses. For expressions that contain negative signs and or parentheses, the inclusion and placement of parentheses can result in distinct expressions that have different values. For example, do you think that negative a with parentheses to the b power and negative a to the b power without parentheses have the same value? So complete the following, which compares and contrasts the expressions with parentheses and without parentheses. So in the one with parentheses, negative a parentheses to the b power, that indicates that negative a, that whole part was used as a factor b times. It was negative a times negative a times negative a. So for a number example, negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three and so on. In essence, we're taking the negative value and multiplying it over and over. Compared to negative a to the b power, when there's no parentheses, it means that it's the opposite 
of a to the b power. Because if you think about in order of operations, this is really negative times a to the b power, and exponents are going to come before multiplication. So I would do my exponent a times a times a times a, how many other times? So here it'd be like 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Then I would do the opposite of that at the end. So when I multiply my negatives over and over, here I ended up with 81. And it's a positive value. But if I did the opposite of 3 to the 4th, I end up with negative 81. So sometimes you might happen to get the same answer, but sometimes you might not. They do not mean the same thing. Be cautious if you see parentheses or not. And when you mean to multiply the whole negative value to the exponent, make sure you use parentheses. Let's learn. Evaluate powers. To evaluate an expression with a power, write the power as a product and then multiply. When evaluating expressions with powers or more than one operation, it's important to remember order of operations. So just as a reminder for order of operations, which you might see like PEMDAS, first you're going to do anything that's inside grouping symbols. So there's your parentheses, or maybe you'll see square brackets, some sort of grouping symbol. Then you're going to do all your powers. So there's your exponents. Up here was our P, or maybe a G. Then we're going to do multiplication and division from left to right. So there's our M and our D from left to right. Then addition and subtraction from left to right. So A and S from left to right. So we have PEMDAS, multiplication, division, and addition, subtraction going left to right. Example three, evaluate numerical expressions. Evaluate negative two to the third power plus 3.5 to the second power. So here I can see the parentheses, meaning that it's negative two multiplied three times, negative two times negative two times negative two, and then 3.5 to the second power is 3.5 times 3.5. So when we're doing this, we're gonna need to rewrite it back out as many times as it says in the exponent. So here we're working backwards. Now let's follow order of operations. So multiplication here and here is gonna come before addition here. So negative two times negative two times negative two is negative eight. 3.5 times 3.5 is 12.25. Now we can add the two together. Negative eight plus 12.25 is 4.25. So if I was evaluating the expression, my answer would be 4.25. Check your understanding. Evaluate eight to the third power plus negative three to the third power. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have got 485. So this would be eight times eight times eight plus and then negative three to the third power. So negative three times negative three times negative three. Eight times eight times eight is 512. Negative three times negative three is positive nine times negative three is negative 27. 512 minus 27 gives us our 485. Example four, evaluate algebraic expressions. Evaluate a squared plus b to the fourth if a equals three and b equals one half. So if we're given an algebraic expression like this and we want to evaluate it, they're going to give us numbers to plug in for each thing. So every time I see an a, a has a value of three. Every time I see a b, b has a value of one half. So instead of a, we're going to substitute in a three. Instead of b, we're going to substitute in one half. Now it's just like the previous example. I have three to the second power, which is really just three times three. And then I have one half to the fourth power, which is half multiplied four times. Multiply it out, three times three is nine. One half times one half times one half times one half. Multiply the top for fractions, I end up with one. Multiply the bottom, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So I end up with one sixteenth. Now just combining those together, we end up with nine and one sixteenth. And we could convert one sixteenth to a decimal if we wanted, but we can always just write it as a mixed number as well. A to the second plus B to the fourth, when A was three and B was one half, our total is nine and one sixteenth. Check your understanding. Evaluate a to the fourth plus b squared if a is negative three and b is six. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have got 117. So for this, I have a to the fourth. So instead of a, I'm gonna plug in negative three and that's still to the fourth power. And instead of b, I'm gonna plug in six. So six to the second power, I know right away, six times six is 36. Three to the fourth power, I have three times three, which is nine, times three again for the third time, which is 27, times three for the fourth time gives me 81. Negative times negative makes it positive, times negative again makes it negative, the fourth one makes it back positive. 81 plus 36 gives us 117. Example five, evaluate algebraic expressions. Evaluate d cubed plus the quantity c squared minus two if c is negative four and d is two fifths. So again, just like the last example, we're just replacing c and d with their values. So here we can see d to the third power, and instead of d, I'm plugging in two fifths, and then I have plus the quantity c squared minus two, so c to the second power, instead of c, I'm gonna plug in negative four. Because I'm using parentheses to separate my negative, we're gonna switch my parentheses here to other grouping symbols, so I use square brackets. And then that minus two is just thing. 
So I still have to remember, but I'm not substituting anything in its place. First following order of operations, negative 4 squared, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. 16 minus 2 is 14. Now I'm going to keep going order of operations. So 2 fifths to the third power, 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths gives me 8 over 125. If I were to write it out, I'd have 2 times 2 times 2 on the top, which is 8. 5 times 5 times 5 on the bottom, which is 125. Still plus my 14. And then just like last time, because I'm adding a whole number with a fraction, I'm just going to write it as a mixed number. So my final answer would be 14 and 8 over 125. So when I have that expression and evaluate it for C is negative 4 and D is 2 fifths, I get 14 and 8, 120 fifths. Check your understanding. Evaluate the expression if X is equal to negative 1 third and Y is equal to 5. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have got 40 and 1 ninth. If I take my x value to plug it in for x, I have x squared, so negative 1 third squared, which ends up being 1 ninth. A negative times a negative makes it positive. Plus y to the third power. I have 5 to the third power, and then minus 85. 5 to the third power ends up being 125 minus 85, and I get 40. And then finally, adding the two things together, I get 40 and 1 ninth. And you may notice here that I did this exponent part first instead of this parentheses. I really should have done the parentheses first. I got lucky here that it didn't affect my final outcome. So 40 and 1 ninth.